looking for this brand. So, love it. It's beautiful. Nice piece. Nice 1928 piece. As opposed to a mean one. This one here is got an extender right here. Lobster claw clasp. See, that one's a little smaller. And here's your Rolo chain. And then it comes down to these three circles. They're hammered. Gold tone. The next is a gunmetal chain. And it is connected right here. It's like bam. Right with the rhinestones. I find that weird. But here we go. Here's your chain. And then this is glass here. So is that and that. Nice chains here. Little pearls, faux pearl and rhinestone. Right there. Very interesting necklace. Uh-huh. That's exactly what I would do. Okay, I'm going to fix this necklace because it needs to be fixed. Okay, y'all tell me if this makes more sense to you. It does to me. Here's your lobster claw. You see how it's done? Single, single right here. Okay. Makes it right on in the center. And then it goes on down like that. See, honey? Okay. Makes it much better. Mm-hmm. Okay. Look what we got. It's a little glass owl. Now he's got a eye that's kind of one swollen. Maybe he got socked in the eyeball. I don't know. But anyway, he's cute. A little glass owl just stands there. Here's the back. I'm going to put him up with all my other little owls. He's adorable. Little feet are good. The only thing that's missing is his... Well, you know, I think his beak's been a little tweaked, too. I don't know, maybe not. Oh, let's see what's going on here. No, it doesn't show that it's been broken. But anyway, he's a cute little owl. I'm going to keep him. He'll be my little buddy. i going to stand up here with you. Yeah, just for right now. Okay. He won't stay there. Here is a... Real pretty little pearl. It's uh, hand knotted in between each pearl. Box clasp. Here's the back. It's got something written on it. Let's see if we can tell. Well, what does it say? I don't know, even know which way to turn it. Carol Lee. That's what it looks like to me. Hold on, let me loop it. C A R O L E E. Carol Lee. Very cute. Very pretty. Pearls have a nice luster. They're not 
uh, peeling in any way. It's a beautiful bracelet for a bracelet. I haven't shown that, have yeah. I? We have another scarf like necklace. Goes around the front, and then you go around, and then you cross these over and come back down front. So you'd have something like that. Tassels need to be washed. It's got a little leaf here. I am going to put this in the Hobby Lot. We have a confetti necklace. That's what I call these confetti necklaces. First, it is a Nine West lobster claw clasp, gold tone, no wear. And here's our little confetti necklace. And I love the way it picks up the light. And it's long enough to where I think you could double it or you could layer it. And you've got textured pieces and then shiny, just uh, polished pieces and textured pieces. Very pretty. Little confetti necklace. Here's a lobster claw class extender with the bead, silver tongue necklace, little statement necklace, Rolo chain, nice Rolo chain, pretty little disc. They're all there. They're all in order. There's no tarnish. Very cute little necklace. That's the back side. Let me go back to the front. There we go. Very pretty. Emily went to Disney. Little Emily with a, a um, Mickey Mouse. Another Disney tag here with the little Minnie Mouse, a Mickey Mouse tag. Spring ring class, extender with a bead. You got some um, wear on this jump ring right here. It's darker than the rest. All the other part of the necklace, necklace is a perfect, beautiful um, silver. I've shown this and this. Hmm? I showed that. Oh, sure? Yes, I'm sure. I showed it just before I showed the Disney. Oh, okay. This says sterling silver made in Israel. And you can tell it's sterling silver. Very pretty. Let me, uh... Put it on the end there. Ooh, that's pretty. This is probably sterling too. Pretty shell. Oh yeah, it's not magnetic. Very beautiful, a little bit of tarnish. I'm looking for a mark for the pendant. Yep. And it's marked 925 right here. Right there. So yeah, that's a pretty necklace. Very pretty. Whoops. Y'all a look. There you go. Very pretty. Sterling silver. Uh, Ruby is the maker. The next is this little wired pink butterfly on a wire. 
It does have a lobster claw clasp and extender with a bead. I'm going to put this in the hobby lot. It's going to fly right on in there. Here's a little heart. Puffy heart in orange. Needs cleaning. Yeah, that comes off. Nice gold tone, I mean, silver tone chain. No um, clasp. Very cute. Just needs cleaning. Okay, there you go. And it's a lot oranger than it was kind of, again, washed out in the picture. It's a pretty orange. It's like a pumpkin orange. Much uh, darker orange than what you're seeing on the camera there. Here's a very Art Deco necklace with green. Oh, those feel cold. I believe this is glass. I won't swear to it, but I believe it is. Fasted. Very pretty. Here's the underside. It's in excellent condition. Here's your chain. It's a Rollo chain in gold tone. Has a lobster claw clasp with an extender with a little heart. Right there. It's very pretty. Very Art Deco. You like that Art Deco look? There you go. That's what it looks like. Next necklace we have is a little lobster claw clasp extender with a with a, no bead. Now something's wonky about this. And of course, I want to fix that too. I want to fix it all. But I'll fix it if somebody orders it. Here is the um, curved chain. It's got little charms of a key and a heart. In fact, I'm going to put it in the hobby lot. Let somebody else have the joy. Friends. Very cute. And little beaded chain. With the little bean clasp. Here's the back. It's in excellent condition. We have a multi chain lobster claw clasp extended with a bead. Here's your end stations or end cap. Multi chain, textured and uh, polished, with stations of pearl. Very pretty pearl. It's a very pretty necklace, pearl necklace. Let's see. I'm looking for something on the... I don't see anything on the end caps. Let me fix it on here, and then I'll show it to you guys. And there you go. What I've been doing is trying to turn this off so I don't have y'all swirling around everywhere with me. Right there. And here's the back. The end caps. Very pretty necklace, chains and pearls. Bam, look at that, isn't that pretty? This is a Chico's, here's the back. Even the pendants mark Chico's, I like the way they do that. Beautiful red, pretty beads on a wire necklace. And here's the back. You have um, the Chico again. And probably my hair falling out. I don't know. It's pretty dark. Um, there's the Chico's, your extender with the bead. The metal's in excellent condition. And that's just gorgeous. Beautiful red. And we're back. I wanted you to see it this way too. Nice large lobster claw there. Very pretty. These here are glass. 
This is either glass or stone. So it's really a well-made necklace. Very pretty. Ah, oh, here's for the little girl, and this is too cute. An LOL emoji and a little ice cream truck. Isn't that adorable? Little rhinestone headlights. Love that. It's called Charm Charm It, so you can add more charms to it. Little charm bracelet. You can even take these off and wear them one at a time if you want to. Very cute. Another little girl's necklace with the little fish. Very cute. It's on a stretchy. Pastel colors. Very cute. Love it when we get things for the children. Here is a Claire's necklace. Extender. Lobster claw clasp. Nowhere on this. Silver tone chain. It says Paris and then it has the star in the Eiffel Tower. Isn't that sweet? I like that. Next is another Art Deco necklace beautifully done. I'm going to tease you here. Here's the lobster claw. And no extender. That's just your chain there. This is going to be a long necklace. And I'm going to try to get it to where it comes out right. And you can't see it until it pops up. Wait for it. Wait for it. Don't look. Don't look. Oh, it's turning around. It's turning around. Oh. Spoil the show. Look at that gold stone in there. Let's see. Okay. I don't think this one is a stone. Definitely gold stone, and I don't think this one's a stone. And it's got these little two fringes here. Very cute. Art Deco for sure. And with gold stone. Beautiful colors for fall. And a gold tone setting. Here's the backs. Excellent condition. Nothing's missing. Just beautiful. No name tag. You should have put a name tag on their stuff. Here is a crystal. It's amethyst. Y'all can see the puff. That's ink on my hand there. It's on this little piece of cord here. Yeah, that metal is magnetic too, but this is a piece of... Uh, Amethyst here, a little crystal. Here's another kid's necklace with a dolphin. And the dolphin has a little rhinestone in his eye on a nice clean cord. And this snaps on and off, I think. Doesn't it? I don't know. Oh, you didn't try it? Well, I tried, but couldn't get it off. I didn't want to break it, so I just Oh, stopped. yeah, I will. Okay. Maybe it didn't come off. Did I break it? No. It snaps. Now I can't get it to snap back. Definitely snaps, but you know what? It's big enough just to go over their head. So leave it snapped. Funny big. Why well, make your life hard? Here's another one of these uh, necklaces. These are nice chains here, too. This one's got just the key on it. What did I do with the other one? Put it in the hobby lot? Mm -hmm. Maybe with that one, too. 
beautiful little heart necklace with rhinestones. They all look like they're there. Here's the back. Nice Rollo chain, silver tone. It's an infinity chain, there's no clasp. So it just goes over the head. Needs a little cleaning. Very cute. Here's a silver tone lobster claw clasp with a little bead extender. This is a great layering piece here too. It's got stations of curvy leaf-like designs. Very pretty. Can be wear, worn alone or layered with other necklaces. No name on it. Here's another pearl medallion here. The other side, I don't know what that is at all. It's cold, but I don't know what it is. But that's the side I'd be wearing it on anyway. This has got a tag. It is loft. It's a little rhinestone. Spring ring clasp. Nice Rollo chain. This is very pretty. Come on, turn around. Why does it always fight me? There we go. Here is... Okay, here's your clasp and the little springs that hold these, this cord here. And this is a little dolphin that's done in hematite. Very cute. The next is loft with a little stone. Lobster claw clasp extender. Nice uh, stationed chain and bar station necklace. Comes down, this is a very Art Deco look done in stone. These are all very cold. I believe they may be quartz. Don't know if that's quartz, but these. Very pretty. I don't know what that is. It looks like it's got stuff in it. Or it's rutilated, maybe rutilated quartz. See that? That's a beautiful necklace. Again, it's not marked, but it's fabulous, especially if you love stone. That's a nice stone necklace. And I love stone because it's cold, it feels alive. This has got the Lucky Brand sign on the lobster claw clasp and there's your lucky brand little with the bead your extender on a rollo gold tone chain let me turn it around and these are your pieces you have an enameled medallion a fasted glass I don't know if that's a, a stone or just glass and then this piece here, let's see, does that open up? It looks like it wants to, but I don't think it does. No, it does not. But it's decorative the same on both sides. And these are pretty on their back too. Very pretty necklace, full of by Lucky Brand. Nothing better I like than crystal and rhinestones. Double neck, a double stranded bracelet. It doesn't, it's still got stretch. It doesn't need much stretch to go on. I'm putting it on. There we go. 
very it feels very pretty I don't know if these are crystals or quartz I'm gonna go test them I'll be right back okay these are glass beads these are quartz I did test them and this one here is not hard to believe it's not glass it didn't register as glass but it sure felt cold to me so don't know <clears throat> got three stick pins here we have a, cl a cloisonne butterfly this one's like a shell design and this one's got tiny little blue stones purplish blue stones I haven't checked for marks I haven't seen any marks don't see any marks on that one this one I thought I saw something back here No. It's just got this protruding piece here, and I don't know why. That's odd. Maybe it's a, a hidden microchip. I don't know. I'm just playing, honey. <clears throat> okay, we have this little bracelet. I'm going to put this and this, these pieces here in the hobby lot. I'm going to cut the ribbon off of them. Oh, this is pretty. This is Grace Grace somebody. It looks like G I don't know. I don't want to guess. Grace Haig, Haig, I don't know. I'll let y'all look at it. Maybe you'll recognize it. If you know, please make a comment. I don't know if that says Grace George or Grace, if that's an H, A-G-E, or I don't know. Nice cross. Pretty blue beads. They do feel... I feel like they're acrylic, I think. Here's the underside of the cross. It's got a unique mark on it. And it is marked. Okay. Ooh, the next is this beautiful orchid here's the back it is a button it's fossil brand is fossil very very cute very pretty it's gorgeous I wonder if that's magnetic nope nope No, it's got a copper base, but it's very pretty. Next is just a little plain chain. No marks. Nice chain, though. I'm going to put it over here for a pendant. Here is a bracelet. I'm looking for a mark. Don't see any. It's in excellent condition. Oh, wow. Now, I don't know what kind of stone this is, but I know it's a stone, and this is a bear. That looks like silver. Let's see if that says silver. Anywhere. Know if that was a mark or not. Or 
and I'm going to test it. First, I'm going to see if it's magnetic. It's not magnetic. So we'll test the bell. Oh yeah, very silver. This is a really nice size piece here. And I don't know what kind of stone that is, but this cord is nothing. Yeah. So you'd have to put it on a prettier um, necklace, but that is beautiful. Nice piece. Next is a little bracelet with a crown, a heart, and a ring with a little um, AB stone in it. Little hearts on the end cap. It is Mark Premier Design. Very cute. Excellent condition. It's got a little cross here, too. So, yeah, it's got some nice charms on that. Here's a pen. Looks Scottish to me. I don't know though. What do you think, honey? Yeah. Here is a twisted rope bracelet. It's in fairly good condition. There's a little wear on the clasp, the part here, and the clasp, but the chain is beautiful. Here is a stone. Bracelet with some copper charms on it, or brass charms. That says H2O. And this says, I don't know, I can't read it. This is a very unusual brooch. It's got real stone, it's got um, unikite here, the pink and green stone. Some glass, maybe. Quartz. Looks like a snake. Coiled. Very unusual. Here is a little brown um, suede with pretty little champagne colored rhinestones. Got hematite. It's staying on. It just feels so good on it. I don't know what it is. This has got a corroded coin pen here. I'm going to put this in the hobby lot. Here is um, glass beads. And this is, looks like sea glass there, but this is rose quartz. Very pretty, and we have this bracelet. It looks like it could have been brass, but it's not. Blue and white panels. It's in good condition. Okay, just gave it a quick little wipe. It's in excellent condition. These are magnetic, but they all can be worn together or separate. This one maybe is the oddball in the group. The rest are all put together. Little bangles. Here's one with, is this one magnetic? No. And this one is not magnetic. It says, I don't know, Patriots it looks like. I don't see any markings in it. It's a beautiful silver tone. It's not magnetic, so we'll just give it a quick rub so it's got that copper base. Yes, it does. But I think that says Patriots. Yeah. 
Et oui. cuite. I don't know what happened here. What is it? it looks like a little string cut broke. Oh yeah, and this looks like I don't know. It looks like they were yeah, something's broke off here. It's got that pretty little crystal there. I'm gonna put this in a, a bag though, because I don't want somebody to cut themselves. But that little crystal's cute, and they may be able to do something with the other part. Peace on Earth. Little Christmas ornament. That'd be nice for uh, the Hobby Lot. A little peace sign. We're going to put that in the Hobby Lot. And I don't know what that is. Oh, love, but it's broke. Broken love. Put those in the Hobby Lot. That one in the Hobby Lot. This is going in the Hobby Lot. It's a brushed glass. I think it's a napkin ring. Another napkin ring. Two keychains. One's got a D and one's got a W. That's Daryl and this is wife. Wonder woman. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's cute. DW. Let's put those up, honey. Let's put them in the box. This is broke, but it's got beautiful, um... Findings? Yeah, I mean, it might really have some beautiful findings. 925 Italy. Gold tone that's gold over silver. 925 Italy. Let's see if these end caps are marked. You could always just clip this off. It doesn't have to be three. I don't see anything on that part. It's worth it just for the 925 clasp and gold tone because that would be hard to find if you need it and don't want to buy a whole hobby lot and I will sell it to you for that piece. If not, if nobody buys it, I'll throw it in the hobby lot. Here's a Nine West watch. It's been very much worn. This is genuine leather. Yep, genuine leather. You can kind of tell it's worn out. I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot. And oh, we've got one more necklace. Sure. It's got a large lobster claw. Little red bead on the extender. It's a wire necklace. But what's nice about it, it's got heavy stone on it. Looks like halite, which makes it weigh down nicely. And it's got these acrylic beads that almost look like they're ceramic. These are kind of cool. I don't know what they are. They may just be acrylic too. This one's acrylic. These are stone. These, these are the ones I think that are halite that give it the nice weight. So I'm gonna put that in the hobby lot. Bag and, and you yeah, we're gonna bag it and put it in the hobby lot because it's got nice, really nice findings there. And uh those beads are nice. You can redo it if you don't like the wire. And if you like it like that, then you've got your nice necklace in the hobby lot. These are all gonna be hobby lot pieces. These are beautiful. Very beautiful. Very, very pretty. Some watch pieces. Here's a little clasp. I'm gonna put that in the hobby lot because you need those. I think I am. If it's silver, I'm not. Oh, it's definitely not going. It's 14 carat. That's 14 carat. Hold on to that. 
I might need that for a necklace. Here's some beads. Check that one. Make sure it doesn't. Yeah, the one that's in your hand. Yeah, I am. Oh, and this looks like it can go to uh, that little charmant necklace. I mean, bracelet. It's got the little clasp where yeah. you can just hook it on, but it's in gold tone and not silver. But it's a charm, so keep it. We're going to keep these two. Egg-like charms. This one, you wanted me to do something with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because those pieces, all those three and that quarter thing with the 14 carat, uh -huh. were in a separate little bag all of themselves. Uh-huh. We've got vertigree on this jump ring. Jump ring's got to go. I don't know, honey. I can test it. Let's see if it's magnetic. The jump ring is. The egg's not. And it's metal. Let me take this jump ring off. I hate to, but I don't want to leave it on there with vertigree unless I can get it off. Just leave it out and I'll clean it. These are going in the hobby lot. Put them, in a bag. Put them in a little bag. And give me a separate bag for this one. Or no, I'll just put it over here and clean it. These are going in the bag, honey. Oh. Except not this one. I'm keeping that so in case I need it. Okay, all we have left now are the earrings, so I'll go through them. We'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with the um, earrings. These are the two pins I found in the earrings, which are adorable Christmas pins. This moose, art ar moose articulates. There's a little dance. And I think he's Mark JJ. And that's why he's so adorable. He is. And then we have this one, the little drummer boy. We have these two pendants. I believe they're pendants. This one looks like sea glass with a seashell. I didn't see any markings on it. And this one says John 15, 13. And then we have this pair of earrings. I love these. They're old. They're screwbacks. There's the screwbacks on them. They're like little bubbles. Makes me think of blowing bubbles with my granddaughter. These, this pair right here is Laurel Birch. Signed earrings. Yay. We have White House Black Market earrings. Very nice. We only had one of these, and this is 925, and they're pearls, button pearls. And we have these little crystal ones. This right here was a brass one. It's a tassel here. Green tassel with the heart. I mean, with a cross. Always get those mixed up. Then we had a couple of rhinestone earrings, post, and one French wire one. Very pretty. We had this pair here. The hoops are very um, pretty on this one. We had this teardrop with the chain. We had this. And I'm just gonna bring this up. Here was another Laurel Birch I didn't have a match to. Maybe it'll be in another jar. But here's the rest of the little earrings. Just gonna lift this up and show you. There they are. 
Here's some little cupcakes and a little fleur de lis single earring. And the cupcakes don't match. That's why I didn't put it as a pair. And that's what I had left. So, thank you guys for watching our videos. We appreciate you spending your time with us. We hope you enjoy these videos. Leave us a comment. Say hello. And uh, we will see you guys in the next jewelry jar opening. Bye. Bye-bye.